what's up world there's a reason why i'm down so low today because i'm going to try something a little bit different as far as technique and composition i'm going to get low and slow And as you can see, I'm here in beautiful Sedona once again. I love this place. I love getting out of town. Yeah, I'm going to try some compositions, getting low. And one thing I do not do is focus stacking. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically shoot for that today. I'm going to do multiple stacks, multiple exposures uh, with different focal lengths. Or not focal lengths, but um, focusing points. So I'm going to try to get some on things that are almost macro up close. Um, and focus stack them all the way back to the background. So yeah, anyway, I'm out here on the, they call it the Big Loop Trail around Sedona. It's actually not in Sedona, it's Oak Creek Canyon. And it is the Red Rock State Park. So that's where I'm at right now. A lot of cool little compositions, a lot of cool little foregrounds, small. I mean, I'm talking foregrounds that are gonna be an inch or so, two inches tall. Um, that's actually gonna dominate the foreground. So I'm just gonna get really close to it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get close to the mountains just to be able to have them still relevant in the picture Because uh, shooting real wide angle at 10 or 12 millimeter is gonna really push back the background quite a bit So I'm gonna have to get close I'm gonna have to get close to the mountains. I'm gonna have to get close to my foreground I'm gonna be close to everything. I'm gonna be down on the ground today. So Probably gonna get my shirt a little messed up. That's a good thing. I enjoy that. I like getting dirty So uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start hiking Okay, so kind of what I was thinking, I didn't walk or hike too far quite yet. Yeah, I wanted to get close enough to where I'm still going to be able to keep the mountain in the frame, you know, but still push it back as far as I can. So I think I'm right in that range right now between 10 and 12 millimeter to where I'm going to be able to keep it in the frame, fill the frame with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking for something about the size of a softball for my foreground. So I'm going to look around a little bit, see if I can come up with something. Uh, possibilities are kind of endless. I mean, you don't have to have a tree or a log or anything like that. You can have something as small as a flower or a pebble or a footprint, <laughs> you know, and uh, make something out of it. So I walked around a little bit more and uh, realized I got a little bit too close to the mountain. So I wasn't even able to keep part of the mountain in at 10 millimeters. So way too close for the mountain. So I went ahead and backtracked a little bit, went back about halfway from where I started. I think I found a cool little composition here. So let me show you. That is my camera way down on the ground. And I got a, a tripod that can actually flatten all the way out. Um, it's got the center post that comes down that lets you raise it up even a little bit higher to get up to six, seven foot. And I never noticed, but I got an idea today that uh, I can flatten that out in a certain way. And the composition I got are these flowers right here. There's a little purple flower, a little spread of white flowers got this leafless tree right there and then up onto the mountains so I stacked well hopefully if it comes out I'm gonna stack about five images for it and uh, possibly seven I don't know if the top ones actually are gonna be in focus or not but it should be clear from front to back no doubt about it so I'm gonna go ahead and get those all stacked up and funny thing is, is I have no idea how these are going to come out until this is already shot, done, and processed. So hopefully some do come out. All right, so when I was originally walking up here, ow, <laughs> I saw the spot that was all fenced off and... Didn't really look like they wanted anybody in it, but when I was walking back, I realized there was this little game trail over there that uh, looked interesting. So I walked up it, put me right in the middle of this flower patch. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the scene I'm looking at right now. Nice little field of white flowers, you know, with the trees and the mid ground and the mountain a little further back. This time a lot further back actually in the background. 
yeah, hopefully this one should come out good and hopefully I don't get arrested, but I got to go hop the fence and get out of here. So. <laughs> So I wanted to point something out too. I just got all kinds of thorns in my hand, kneeling down, trying to get in front of the camera. And uh, yeah, they're kind of burning. I don't know what they are, but uh, yeah, they hurt a little bit. I picked them all out. But one thing I was thinking ahead of time that I'm gonna be down on the ground. Brought myself a knee pad, $4 at the home improvement store for two of them. Um, and I use them for work as well, but figured what a time right now, cause I'm gonna be kneeling down. There's rocks, cactus, Everything's gonna hurt going down on a knee. So, um, yeah, worked out pretty good. I've been down on my knee quite a bit, getting down nice and low. I'm able to get into the viewfinder and I'm as comfortable as can be. So, <laughs> worked out good. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. My hand's burning right now. So, all right, I think I'm off to the next stop. Yeah, this is like rush hour on this trail. It's kind of crazy. So I've never been here when it's been so busy. I found uh, this little composition right here. Saw that dead tree kind of laying off to the side and drug it out a little bit to get it more in the picture, more of a subject in the picture. Had a couple people looking at me weird, but hey, I don't care, you know. Um, not doing anything illegal or anything. So that's okay. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna be happy with this one. It's not gonna be so much getting extremely low to the ground, even though I'm going to. See how it comes out. I think it's gonna be good. All right, so yeah, I walked up a little bit. Starting going up the incline of uh, Bell Rock, which was the last mountain I took a picture of. I'm gonna get another one. I see something I wanna shoot. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But um, there's something a lot of people like to do here and that is stacking rocks. Something they do in the Southwest. I guess it's supposed to be spiritual or I don't know, but um, they do this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. I see it, you know, when I'm out on my little desert adventures i see a lot of that stuff so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start walking over there get set up and make it happen low and slow baby <laughs> this spot is awesome okay so yeah this one isn't as low as i've been doing all day but uh I got about three feet in the air or so. And uh, main thing is, is I want all of this foreground. I got all these cactus, I got these agave plants, I got that blooming. I don't know what it is, but I see them kind of rarely when they're actually nice and in bloom like that. And I've always wanted to get them and I haven't really been able to get them into a composition or anything. So it's gonna happen right now. I got that, I've got kind of a dead tree over here. I got some kind of mangy looking cactus. So yeah, you get up a little bit higher and you can see a lot of the mountain compared to getting down low. It really only shows you the top of the mountain. And that's what I want. I just want those jagged peaks that are coming up. I think it looks awesome, really. Um, the whole mountain's a cool mountain, but just having those peaks sticking out of the vegetation here, it's gonna be sweet. and went down the road a little bit. I wanted to check out one more place that's kind of on the way home just to kind of see what it's looking like this time of year. I haven't been up here since the beginning of winter, I believe, but this time of year it can be quite colorful. So it was a good day. I'm happy with all the pictures. Um, it was a little bit of work today, hiking around and stuff. Beautiful weather outside, beautiful surroundings in an area out there. Can't beat it. That's one reason I wanted to go ahead and get out I knew my plan last week on what I was going to do this week, and that's getting slow and low. So, yeah, I think all the pictures came out really well. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close with this, so feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here. Check out some other videos over here. I'll see you next time.